hey, I'm Matsunami. Welcome to my underground lair. This is the moment that nobody's been waiting for. You'll see why. Here's my game collection. So we're gonna start out in this quadrant. Um, what you see here is Super Nintendo games. And as you can see, I spent a lot of worthless time putting these games in cases. For your pleasure and for my pleasure. And let me show you some of the rare titles I have. Um, Dracula X. And some of these games that are very special I like to make backdrops for. Only the ones I beat, which isn't many. We have a Nintendo 64 collection, very small, very humble, but there's not many good games for Nintendo 64. There, I said it, fuck you. There's a small amount of Genesis games here. Uh, I got all the good ones, except Streets of Rage 2 and 3 and 1, but I will get those someday. I will. Uh, I have some Neo Geo cartridges, two of them, because they're expensive. But they're, uh, they're like VHS tapes. They're very, very large. They're, they're cool, though. They're very, very expensive and cool. Here we have the NES collection. Uh, I just ran out of cases. I have a bunch of games I still have to put back in cases. Um, I'll get around to that someday. Um, some of the highlights are this worthless piece of shit, Contra Force. Uh, really terrible game, expensive. Not worth the money I spent on it, but there it is. Fire and Ice, great game, great game. So that's that. Um, I think I'm up to 221 games for the NES. Um, yes, they're all in cases here. And let me uh, let me let you in on a little secret. Um, I do not actually own Mega Man X3. It was the one that got away from me. I'm very ashamed, but. Someday I will own it. It was a, uh, a raw deal that I got at a game store. Um, here is where nothing happens. Nothing at all. Um, computer. Um, this I picked up at uh, my good friend Tom's. It's very interesting because it's a LCD TV, but it's in the 4.3 format. Um, looks like shit whenever I hook up systems to it, but it's, it's cool to own nonetheless. Um, here is my system display. Um, what we have here, I have a black and a white Wii. What I'm aiming for is to have all black systems. That's a ready assist. And, uh, got the Wii, we got the Xbox, the PS2, we got Nintendo 64, um, GameCube, with the Game Boy Player and a most excellent Pokemon pinball. Yeah. Uh, got the uh, the elusive Turbo Duo. Uh, very uncommon. Paid way too much money for this, but I love it. Um, Sega Dreamcast Sports Edition, Super Nintendo, um, a very special um, top loader Nintendo. And it's very special because we have a stereo mod in it and the composite mod, so everything looks and sounds like tits. Um, we got the Sega Saturn and a Genesis with an S-Video mod on it. Um, cool shit. A couple of uh, random Game Boy Advance games that I was trying out. Uh, let me let me bring you back over here. Um, we got my trio of mini bosses affiliated posters. Um, some Zach Gorman artwork posters. Love this one. It's Final Fantasy VI. Beautiful, beautiful shit. Um, come on over to this side. We got more random Legos and shit. Uh, mini bosses vinyl. Um, over here we have the next gen consoles. We have a PS3 and an Xbox and. These speakers rule. Um, up here, we have um, some very cool Ukiyo Heroes um, prints. Um, 
yeah, those were too much money too, but they were just so cool because it's, it's Metroid done in the, the uh, Japanese style. Um, and the awesome Mass Effect poster. Uh, we have comfortable places for people to sit. Because this <laughs> is a game room. So you got to have comfortable places to sit. Um, over here we have the Xbox 360, PS2, Wii, PlayStation, um, custom cases for the Game Boy Advance games. This was a pretty cool project because the DS cases hold the uh, Game Boy Advance games. So, yeah. A um, couple of Turbo Graphics games. Um, we got Bonk, we got Vigilante, Heat Courage. Um, and then what I started to do was put the uh, Turbo Graphic games in DVD cases. We have the PSP, we have the Game Boy Color, we have the NES edition of the Game Boy SP, we have the Famicom edition of the Micro, we got a DS, 3DS XL, uh, strategy guides, um, best strategy guide ever made, ever, ever made, the Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 strategy guide, there's a mono artwork, of course, I can't flip to a page. Out the ass. There's a very, very sexy lock for you. Uh, got an X arcade stick. Basket full of random shit. Um, got an Amano art book here. Because he's amazing. He's, he's amazing. Um, uh, got a Turbo Duo box. Everything's still intact in it. Um, very good purchase there. And now I will take you to the crown jewel of the game room. It is my Neo Geo. And this thing is awesome. Um, I don't have actually the actual Samurai Showdown game running on here. What's inside here is actually a, um, you can't see it, but there's like a 161 in one game cart. Oh, I just, as you can see, it needs a little work. Um, but there's 161, there we go. There's 161 games on this cartridge, and a lot of the Neo Geo community are like, well, uh, that's not proper, you know, games. It's not the real thing. It's emulation. Well, fuck you. No, it's not. It's the system playing a emulated game cartridge. And it's on the monitor, it's on the hardware, so to me, that's that's good enough. I don't feel like paying 80 bucks for Neo Geo cartridges. Um, here's my Street Fighter 2 arcade machine. It's the World Warrior artwork. Um, kind of fucked this up because this was Champion Edition, and I put a printed uh, label over it for the original World Warrior artwork. Um, I'll eventually take care of that, but um, it's in pretty good shape. Um, whoever had this mounted a power button, which is very convenient, and um, it's the original uh, arcade board. It's really cool. You got my little can action figure. Um, thumbs up there. And then we got the um, special edition PS2 controllers. Um, oh, one more thing. This. Um, this was by the makers of Retron. It lets you plug in an NES card plate on the screen. The system's a complete piece of shit, but it's, uh, I got it for free, so it, nonetheless, it's worth, worth owning. Uh, complete inbox, uh, plain wireless controller. This thing is very cool, but if my cat runs by it, I completely lose connection, so don't play any games like Ninja Gaiden or Shatterhand on this because you will die. Uh, complete box, Game Boy, uh, yeah. Final Fantasy 1 complete box, all the maps, all the instruction manual, everything. I'm thinking about framing the map someday because that's, that's pretty cool. And a game that is very near to me, Super Bowling, it's a complete box. My good friend Joe got this for me. Um, a lot of people don't appreciate this game as much as they should. What they don't know is it's a Technos game. Um, so you're like, oh, it's bowling, uh, fuck you. It's a 
techno scene. It's by the same people that made River City Ransom, and uh, it's a really fun game to play. Um, come in here for a second into my messy other side of the basement, and just want to show you a neato tip. Um, this is for my controllers. Um, it's a shoe rack, but it works great as a controller holder. We got some cool things in here, like the uh, NES Four Score. Uh, lets you play Super Spike Volleyball with four people, which is really cool. So you can be Bimmy and Jimmy versus whoever, Russia. A um, couple of gun cons. There's uh, one of the Street Fighter controllers that I was talking about. And uh, just a bunch of other controllers and shit. And so yeah, that's cool. It's a good way to do things. So, uh, yeah, that's my game room. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Someday I will own every NES game and Super Nintendo game, probably when I'm 90 if I'm not dead yet. Um, that's my retirement money. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you around.